Hey there, let's take a trip down memory lane. Ah yes, the Umbilical Brothers. You know, I think my earliest memory of them was on the good old classic Hey Hey It's Saturday show. You know, I was still a pup, but their unique approach on physical comedy and their vocal range really left a lasting impression on me that would go on to help mould my sense of humour. Shane Dundas and David Collins met at the University of Western Sydney, where they were both studying... Um, I don't know. Wikipedia doesn't say. But I do know that at a jazz recital, or some kind of audition, or some kind of jazz class, um, Dave went on ahead and, uh, you know, broke Shane's nose. As you do. But that would go on to give him a great friendship. So you'll think. Yeah! You know, I've been watching them for years, and I remember as a pup, I would always be holding a microphone, trying to mimic the sound effects that they always did so perfectly, and trying to imitate their sense of humour. Throughout the years, the Umbies would go on to have great international success, and travel around the world entertaining people on a grand scale. With five DVDs, multiple great shows and guest appearances along the way, the Umbilical Brothers would perform one of their most beloved shows, Speed Mouse, right here when they returned to Sydney, Australia at the Riverside Theatre. And as I mentioned, the Riverside Theatre being the very first theatre that they performed at, and the beautiful thing about it is that there are no bad seats, because the theatre is so intimate with very little distance between the seats and the stage, regardless of where you're sitting, in the stalls or on the circle. So I'm here at the Riverside Theatre, and we're pretty good seats right here, and we're really excited to see Speed now. Of course, it's been so many years since the original got released, and I'm really hoping it'll live up to the hype and to the original DVD. So, we'll see how it goes. Now, when new hit performers are going to do their classic routines, you may have a little bit of fear of saying, oh no, are they going to kill it, or will it live up to the expectation? But that fear is thrown out 10 seconds into the show, because the Umbies haven't missed the beat. Yep, they still got it, and they're as funny as ever. Yeah! The show kicks off just like the original, but what keeps it fresh is their ability to adapt to different audiences and improvise most of the show. Of course, they already have an outline of where the plot goes, but that doesn't at all make us feel like, you know, it's been there, done that. And it's bloody hilarious to see how they interact with the audience. It's going to be a long run. Do you want to push me across the street? <laughs> I also love how they take the time to meet their fans. That's a beautiful quality that they have, especially when they do a show that's so physical and they would be totally tired. Yeah! After so many years, the Umbilical Brothers still got it. They're still funny as ever and are still great entertainers. I got a chance to sit down with them briefly to ask a few questions about their preparation and what we can expect next. So, without further ado, please enjoy this quick interview. Yeah! So I'm here with the one and only Elbow Soup. Of course, I'm talking about the Umbilical Brothers. So guys, you had a hell of a show and everyone's really excited to see you. But something I think I've, everyone's always wanted to ask, from all the shows you guys have done, how do you deal with nerves? Do you still get nervous or what's the best strategy that you guys have to shake them up? Well, I get David to hit me with a brick about five minutes before I go on. That way I'm slightly concussed and I, I kind of don't know where I am and, and that's the best state for me to be in. Yes, it's a, yeah, it is a very nice state. To, uh, so much so that sometimes I just keep smashing over the head with them because I think, oh, this is working, this is working. And then there was that time where it worked too good and, yeah, uh, and yeah. it was just me, it was just an umbilical brother doing the show yeah. and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a limp Shane. They still laugh though, they laugh so much, just you with the body just lying on, the, think, on the stage. I think, you know, less was more that night. <laughs> it certainly sounds quite fascinating. Mm. And of course, it must be very satisfying to do that day in and day out. Um, I guess another question that people would always like to know is, when you guys go out and do all your tours, don't you have a good time? Doesn't it wear down on you? Which part? Oh, the flights, the, the physical. Yeah, no, the travelling definitely is is uh, is buggerizing. Yeah, the uh, the, uh, the talking after the show is another show. So we've been out here now. Let's see, the show finished at nine. Yes, it's we've been out here for almost as long as the show. So uh, we've been out here for an hour twenty, and the show was an hour thirty. Yeah. So so we've so this is another show. So we basically do two shows a night. Only in Eastern Europe do we go out for longer than the show after the show yes. to meet people. Yes. Yes, indeed. The Eastern Europeans are, are great fans, you know. But yeah. um, 
you're out all night entertaining them. Basically. And the more Eastern you get, the more European you get, the, the longer you stay. It's weird. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just finally, um, I know that you have a new show coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what can we expect? You know, I wish you could tell us something about it. I wish because we haven't we're starting on Monday inventing the new show so if you have any ideas that you want to maybe it could be about a dog that thought he was a wolf maybe well it is some kind of social issue that needs to be uh, addressed in the media although I will put my paw up if you guys need a we need a new okay well put, put your paw up show me put your I'll paw up. do it for free yeah <laughs> um, well this idiot forgot to bring the stick thing so oh, that's, that's alright right. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll put it up I'll do the same with mine. This is quite a dainty <laughs> pour, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sort of... <laughs> That's fantastic. Anyway, guys, we're really glad to see you here, of course. Everybody, please check out the show. You're not going to have any worries about selling seats because everyone's going to have a fact. And until we end the next time, keep it dignity, everyone. Yeah, right! Yeah, right! Okay! <laughs>